In this short video, I'll show you how to create three stencils in Design Space, including a cake decoration, a personalized doormat, and a tote bag iron-on. You'll pick up tips on how to attach, group and ungroup, slice and mirror, opening a window into a world of custom personalized projects. Check out part two, stencil assembly for beginners, if you want tips on how to assemble and finish these three projects. Now let's get going. Okay, now I'm going to adjust my lettering, use a different font for my cake stencil. I'll select that text. I'm gonna go up here and go down. I'm thinking this Ann Lee extra bold will look good. I'll go ahead and attach that so it sticks together and click make it. I'm gonna click on a mat, I'm using my joy and here on the cut screen, I'm just gonna center this lettering on my stencil. And the reason I do this is so I can shake powdered sugar around and not get it on the rest of the cake while it falls into the letters. Okay, now let's move on to our matte stencil. We've got the same saying up here. I'm gonna go up to the fonts. And I'm gonna search for bold. So we want something that's gonna come through in our stencil and something that you can see from a standing position. So I'm gonna choose Chong Modern Pro Bold. And we've got about a 10 inch space to fill on our mat. I measured it earlier. So I'm gonna bring this up to 10. I wanna customize this, personalize this by taking the eye out and replacing it with a heart. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to slice. I'm gonna grab a shape from that bar over on the left hand side. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. What I'm going to do is just place that right over that kind of star-shaped eye. Now I'll select the text and the shape and click slice in the bottom right hand corner. That separates these pieces out and I can go ahead and click on these. Now we don't have the eye and we're going to replace it over in the shapes menu again with a heart. I'll make that a little smaller bring it over. So it's one of the cool things about Design Space is you can make very small changes like this uh, and really make projects your own. Okay, I want to go ahead and paint that again and I'm going to attach it so it's just all one image and I can move it around and now we're ready to make it. You can see in the upper right hand corner of the screen that I'm using the maker for this cut. I just want to say I could also use Cricut Joy. It would just turn the text vertically but I wanted to show two different machines in this video. Okay, now we're back at the canvas and we're going to adjust this font and text to fit on my tote bag in a reverse stencil. We're going to go up to fonts and we're going to search for cursive. I'm going to choose cursive 101 and you can see here that these letters are not connected. So what we're going to do is select them and ungroup them. And what we can do is start to move them a little closer and connect the pieces so that it looks more like regular cursive. Select it again and group it. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring a shape out because I want to do a reverse stencil behind a circle. We're going to change the color of the circle up here in the left hand corner so we can see things. And then I'm going to right click on the text and move it forward. I'll make this, this circle a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'll show you a trick on how to center this. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to go up to a line and hit center horizontally and center vertically. Now we've got it right in the middle. Okay, now we want to make the text the same color as the background so that we only cut on one mat. And I'm going to select the whole thing and attach it so it's in one piece. I can now move it around. I'm going to click make it. And here on the cut screen, I want to show you one other trick. Since this is an iron-on, it's going onto a tote bag, we want to make sure it's mirrored. So it's going to go on backwards and then it will read correctly after we iron it on with the easy press. Okay, that's it for design. We'll see you over in part two assembly.